We'll get the money back for the bow before too long when we're inside the sewers. Sorry, just calibrating my shots. Let me, let me out of the water. Possibly, but you also can forget against particularly tough enemies. I always can run into the issue that I can get my arrows stuck in them and have to be stuck for a while without being able to fire back. Well, if you'll excuse me, sir, this is a tad extreme. Yeah, so things like Conjunctivius don't become impossible just because I can't get my arrows out of the body. Or more accurately, I don't have to try to parry Conjunctivius. One of Conjunctivius's many, many random moves. Damage a fix and I suppose the secondary is a winning combination. Possibly, but once again, bosses become immune to ice and freezing if you use it too often on them. Which I say is a crying shame. the ice bow. Jeez. You don't have to whine. Oh, he doesn't have the ice bow. Get the ice bow. Finally. I'll get the ice bow. Fine. Just sit getting through the ice crossbow first, because it just seems so much better. Alright. Are you boys done? Because I'm getting a little bit sick of this. Of course. How did I avoid getting hit there? Someone explain. Wait, okay, never mind. Again, it, it gives you it, it's so low damage, it gives you damage reduction. Beautiful. I will gladly take the ice spell then. That will be amazing. Uh this is like tactics and survival. So we might as well grab tactics right now and then get some brutality in a moment. What secrets wait within this? Aw, oh, no. Game! You're doing this to me again! I don't want to get good. Assassin's Dagger. This isn't brutality. I do love crits from the rear, but no, I'll hold on to Nerves of Steel, even though this can be upgraded to S quality, because as of right now, it seems like we're going to go survival. No, but this is a much faster attack rate. Yeah, no. I will gladly take the Assassin's Dagger over this. Perfect. Well, we have gotten good. I'm gonna drink once, 
If only because my health is literally so low that I might as well. How dare you? How dare you? How dare? Talk about getting all that stuff back almost immediately. Ah, uh, gold as well as a cell. Uh, gold and cells from an unlimited distance. I'd rather get gold as well as a cell. And the toxic cloud when I take damage is just kind of icing on the cake. Even with the freeze effect, wasn't that great. Of a, that wasn't that great of a bonus. interested because I kind of want to go and see if any of the people that I usually play games with are online and are willing to play Hearthstone as of right now. Seriously? Just because the uh, Rumble of Rostacon uh, special bonus is going to happen fairly soon. Or not fairly soon, the uh, bonus is going on today, and I'd like to get the extra gold just in case I want to actually go back, well, just in case I seriously want to go back into Hearthstone, which, when Rastakhan comes out, I'm not gonna lie, I'm thinking about making an actual Hearthstone series. All over again. And my only reason for that is the fact that there's a few cards that they've spoiled in the very first section of Rastakhan that make me really, really want to try and play the game all over again. Oh baby, a chest when we don't have nearly enough damage to guarantee that we kill everything on contact. In a place where if we get poisoned once, we'll die instantly from the curse anyway. Perfect. Absolutely magnificent. So it seems like Hearthstone's game devs are about to make the exact same mistake that Magic game devs men made when they made a zero drop make your hero immune this turn or uh, unable to take damage or lose life this turn. Or accurately lose the game on that turn as a result. What I mean by that? Uh, they have, for some ungodly and unfathomable reason, thought it was a wonderful idea to print a card that makes it so one hero can become immune. This hero is Uther. Uther has a card that if he's able to use it four times, not in the same turn necessarily, but if he can have all four pieces of it on the board simultaneously, no matter what health the opponent hero is at, they will just lose the game on the spot. And the immunity card in question, they can run two copies of. Needless to say, I am really, really interested in messing around with it. More accurately, just seeing if I can build an Exodia deck based around it. Because if I can, well, A, we get to prove that HS devs don't seem to realize what is a bad idea. I am pressing shift. I am pressing shift as we speak, and the game refuses to roll. There are five of you. <sighs> uh, give me a random assortment of weapons. I'm just curious to see what you'll give. Because really, I can go in any direction. And there's nothing worth my time. 
Nothing worth my time to purchase from a shop, at least. I'll take a frost grenade, purely because the frost grenade has a lot of decent synergy. But yeah, I'm currently thinking of trying to do an Exodia-based Paladin build based off of it. Wow! It's almost as if this game despises me. Why would you make your players have to go through this place? So far, nothing else in the set beyond maybe the Warlock Legendary for some degenerate, for some really weird deck that has no support for it because I don't know why they decided to build it that way. Alright. Well, we're gonna grab ourselves some infection. Welcome, all my friends, to the infection that never ends. That's a hilarious combo, I'm not gonna lie. Just being able to run into the poison area and just endlessly dump poison all over the field. But anyway. Yes, so Exodia Paladin has gotten a little bit of support as time goes on. And I'm just hoping that if I can get enough of the pieces together to work together in a deck, that the rest of Paladin's kit is good enough to survive until Exodia happens. Because the other... The really fortunate thing about Exodia Paladin is the fact that that deck in question doesn't necessarily care about a particular minion. There's a small subset of minions that helps the player. But aside from that, they don't really care. Ah, the Cursed Sword. As funny as it is, it's not plus plus, ergo, not worth my time. Even though the DPS is enormous. Oh my gosh, it actually... Oh wait, it doesn't give you the uh, Cursed status? That's dumb. Were I not in the sewers when I got it, I would seriously consider running the Cursed Sword. One Hit Point Wonders, I'm no stranger to. I have played a few One Hit Point Wonder arcade games and so on and so forth. And it would definitely teach me to not get hit. But as I always prove time and time again, there are certain situations where if you get yourself into it, you physically cannot dodge. And the main point of this place is that we go to a boss fight we can't dodge purely because everything else about him is easier. And so, ignoring Zenus' terrible advice because he doesn't understand the game, you cannot avoid getting hit. That is just not possible. It has been proven time and time again that there are situations where you physically cannot avoid getting hit. Cells. Nice. Ooh, money. Yeah. If it wasn't progression, if it was high score, maybe. Because that is, like, the ultimate variance. It's the ultimate variance and the ultimate beautiful things in variance, where you just get basically instantaneous progression because everything dies beneath you. I'm also looking for food stuff that is... Ooh. One challenge boy. 
Let's see what you got for me. More cells than I think I've ever seen in recent memory. Yes, I'm going to upgrade Brutality. I'm going to stop being stupid. The amulet here is not worth it, except for the money it sells for. So let's see what we can pull off. Really? Perfect. Already off to a brilliant start. are being watched. Thank you for the lovely host, Zarok. God, I've taken so much stupid damage on this, it hurts. I mean, hey, I need to clear my malaise infection, and there is no way for me to do, better way for me to do that than to use the health vial. So, I guess I don't exactly have too much of an issue with this. Teleportation! You know what would be a really, really interesting quality? A. I am going to just take this and drink it, just so I can get some health back. <sighs> no, I like tonic more than vampirism. And we're going to sell off the vampirism, because I did not almost die to traps. I had at least four more good hits before I actually died. Note, the exact fourth one would have killed me. Game, I know you want me to run the Cursed Sword so bad. I am not good enough to do that on Boss Cell 4 difficulty. I am not good enough to do that in the sewers, where I'm taking tons of hits anyway. I've realized, I figured out what's happening. It's those enemies in particular, the little crawlers, that I can't roll through all the time. It does if you're fighting groups. If you're not fighting groups, it's not particularly great. No, let me, let me control my character. Actually. I can stay here, doing this, putting dead bodies on the floor, until the cows come home. I am drinking again. We are in fact hitting the bottle. Bingo! I love the Assassin's Blade, but it's a blood sword. It's a legendary blood sword. When reforged its modifiers, like, horrendously, but I am keeping it. Now that's definitely what we're looking for before the Conjunctivious fight. A blood sword is beautiful. And we have a freeze effect attack effect attached to it. Now, the real question is... Oh, it's just behind the locked door. Anything else around here that's worth my time? Hayabusa gauntlets? Let me take a look at those. What are those? What be those? 
Not good enough. Uh, I think that's one of the skills I have to unlock, but as of right now, I've got so many cells, I kind of want to save them. If you catch my drift. Because I am very close to unlocking S-quality gear, or native S-quality gear, and this run should take me through that progression. My phone has, like, no power. Too bad I will not be physically able to charge it because all my plugs are used. Yeah, I should not have phaser. Yeah, I don't have phaser as of yet. Kick this bad boy open. Reforge. Uh, reforge. Bleeding causes poison. Yes! That's excellent. And I want to get sadism because it's going to just be a lot of additional bleed effect. However, at the same time, A, I'm going to just reset mutations. We're going to get fireworks technician, and we're going to grab sadism, and we're just going to start leveling other stuff. I could put you to S quality, but no thank you, because you're probably going to get replaced, and you guys are probably also going to get replaced. So, let's go. Someone can explain to me how jumping and slamming into the ground makes me fall faster than the elevator, because I doubt that something that's mechanically being forced to go down faster than the speed acceleration of gravity should allow me to catch up to it.